Hello. I'd like to meditate with you today. Today's meditation, we're going to go live on Instagram again. I'm nervous, as always, so I'm just going to prepare myself. And I like to do that in my YouTube video. Just get comfortable. I have a mirror just to make sure my hair isn't weird. And just notice the sensations in my body. You know, as I'm getting ready to go live on Instagram. <clears throat> And I'm just going to start by meditating by myself for a second. Breathing in and out. Noticing the adrenaline pumping. And notice anything else in my awareness. I'm noticing just the small sounds around me. There's a small hum in the background. <clears throat> and just allow anything to come and go in your awareness. <sighs> I'm noticing my nerves are subsiding. I'm feeling more calm. <clears throat> I'm going to get a bit more comfortable. Noticing just that I'm trying to breathe and relax my nervous system. Give myself a few more minutes just to calm down. It's 10.55, maybe I'll go right at 11. And again, just notice any sensations in the present moment, I'm in open awareness. You just notice anything and anything, like everything and ev anything that comes into your mind, that comes into your perception. So I notice, yeah, my, I can feel my heart beating through my chest. can feel kind of just a general buzzing in my body. There's sounds outside. <sighs> and kind of a funny taste in my mouth. I drink coffee. <clears throat> so I'll notice that. <laughs> Coffee leaves kind of a weird taste in my mouth. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Well, I mean, it's only 10, it's 10.56, but do I really have to wait to... Only 17 people active. nervous as always. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's just me, MZ. Gonna meditate again. As always, you know, I'm doing my own practice. I'm filming for YouTube. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> so I thought I'd just film it live to keep keep it up. I don't know. I just I think doing it live just helps me um you know really <laughs> go for it, I guess. The adrenaline helps me. So anyway, I'm going to just take a moment, check in with my posture. Breathe. And just be aware of anything that comes in to your awareness. <clears throat> Just notice the sensations in your body, in your breath. I'm noticing that I'm again nervous, as always, on live. Even though I've done it quite a few times, I still always get a bit nervous. Even though no one really watches live, it's all good. <laughs> I pick really random times too, and I don't tell anyone until I just do it, so. <sighs> Makes sense, but I'm just going to notice that and keep my eyes open for the beginning of the practice. Just notice the sensations. Yeah, so the basis of meditation is awareness. And awareness is the knowingness. The thing in your mind that knows what you're doing, saying, thinking, or feeling at any given moment. <clears throat> so meditation is when you recognize what you're doing, saying, thinking, or feeling at any given moment. So I'm recognizing that, again, I'm nervous. And you might recognize that you're watching me. And that maybe me being nervous is making you feel nervous. <laughs> or maybe you just feel neutral or something different. Who knows? I can't just I can't tell you what you feel. You can tell yourself. But so awareness is the thing that just knows. So if you know what you're doing at any given moment then you're meditating. So again, just checking in with your posture. Making sure you're not too straight up, just relax. And I'm going to close my eyes. And we'll just be aware of our body, starting from the top of your head, moving down the back of your neck, passing through all the hair follicles, <clears throat> <clears throat> Noticing the sensations in your ears, in your forehead, in your jaw, behind your eyes, in your eyelids, your cheeks and your nose. Notice the sensations in your lips and your chin. Notice the sensations going down your neck. Notice the sensations of your shoulders. And if you know that your shoulders feel something, then you're meditating. If, they if you know that they feel uncomfortable and tight, then you're meditating. 
if you know that they feel relaxed and loose, then you're meditating. Whatever sensation you're feeling, just be present. And if you have other thoughts or sensations coming and going, as we always do, almost always, then just allow that to be. Allow any thoughts to come and go as you move your awareness down your body. Move your awareness down your chest, recognizing the sensations across your chest, in your lungs, in your esophagus, any sensations associated with your breath, just notice that. And I'll notice a sensation of relaxation sort of washing over me as I bring my awareness down my body. <clears throat> Noticing the sensations in my abdomen as I move my awareness down and try to loosen any muscles in, in my abdomen that don't need to be tense. And check in with your posture again. Are there any muscles that you don't need to squeeze that are squeezing? And just play with your posture. And if you notice you feel like you have to move or shift, don't hesitate. Just do it. Your meditation practice doesn't have to be so stiff and tight. As long as you're aware of what your body needs and what you, you're doing with your body, then you're still meditating. So I'm noticing that my breath is releasing And again, notice any other thoughts that come and go as you bring your awareness down to your legs and your sits bones and your thighs to your knees. Noticing any sensations there. <clears throat> Maybe your hands are on your knees. I'm noticing I'm fidgety and if you notice that you're fidgety just be present with that I drank quite a bit of coffee this morning so I think that's influencing my sensations so notice that if you had coffee as well And I notice the sensation of 
just being present in the moment. That itself has a texture. I think everyone, everyone's moment has its own texture. Depending on your chemistry and your past experiences, who you feel you are. And just continue to notice any sensations that are associated with that feeling. As you move your awareness down, your calves, in the present moment of your feet, the sensation of being present with your feet. What does that feel like? <clears throat> I'm noticing the coffee is making my mouth very dry. So that's a sensation that I'm trying to dismiss, but I have to accept it rather than try to fight it off. Just accept it. It's there. It's okay to be present with any sensations that are going on. Just because I'm trying to guide myself to my feet or to whatever other body part, I'm free to have other thoughts. <laughs> Because, yeah, you can't really prevent it sometimes. You can try your best to focus on one thing, but I, in my personal experience, I find it's really difficult to just focus on one thing. I have many, many thoughts at once. It's kind of like, I keep saying like a layered, like transparent paper layered with like all sorts of colors and maybe sort of three-dimensional, how they fit together is kind of more like this. That's my experience of mind. But it... Because you can see through all the layers. Like when I see my thoughts, I also can see myself, I can also see my feelings, the sensations. have emotions, <laughs> somehow it's all there in the present moment. And as you're there with your body and any other sensations that are going on, bring your awareness now to just the outside of your body, the outer layer, your outer skin layer on the front of your body the part that just is touching your clothes and the air in front of you. And then extend that to the space in front of you, just a few inches. And slowly, slowly extend that space to bring your awareness to anything else. I hear my partner's phone going off. I think he's got an alarm. <clears throat> I always find it funny hearing someone fumble for their alarm. Just notice that. And just bring your awareness to the sensations of any, any sensations that you are aware of in the front of your body. If you sit with your nice posture, <clears throat> your body's sensations Now move your awareness to the side of your body. The right side, noticing any sensations there. Starting from your head.
and moving down again, feeling any part of your body as it touches the clothes on your skin. Notice the sensations of anything next to you. Maybe you have a couch or a chair or some neighbors. <clears throat> Maybe a room next to you with a partner or, or a friend or a sibling. Just notice. And I'd like to just, yeah, bring your awareness now to the back of your body and any sensations in the back of your body. Noticing any thoughts and sensations that come and go as you bring your awareness just to the skin touching your clothes on your back in the back of your head, to your hair or the air behind you. Notice the space behind you. Is there a wall there? Electric wires? Maybe some, another building or some dirt. And then notice the left side of you. Notice anything on the left side of your body. Allowing anything in your awareness to come and go. as you bring your mind's eye to that side of your body, where the air hits it, where your clothes touch it. And notice any other sensations that are creeping into your awareness. Notice I'm really having dry mouth. <laughs> so that's annoying. <laughs> but I'll just be aware of that. And you might have a negative sensation that's creeping into your awareness too. Maybe it's an emotion, or a thought, or a situation, or anything at all, maybe a pain, some pain in your body. I'm having also a bit of pain in my lower back from sitting in this position. But I think because I just slouch a lot, so I'm not used to using these muscles. So I'll notice that. And just be present with anything that comes and goes. <clears throat> Without judgment. Like my dry throat. <clears throat> I'll be aware of that. Coffee makes my coffee and cream makes my throat dry. And just be present with that. <laughs> and any other negative sensations you might be feeling that you might have to accept in your present moment. Or maybe you don't have any negative sensations at all. And just be aware of that and be thankful. So again, then just bring your awareness now to just the space underneath you. Your bottom touching the cushion. Or couch or wherever you're sitting. 
and just be present with the warmth that's there. Be present with the pressure of sitting. Notice the sensations of the space underneath you. Is there dirt, ground, or are there many people if you're in an apartment or a house? Just notice whatever's there. Be present with it. You can go deep as you want into the earth. Just noticing any sensations now on the top of your head. Notice your hair follicles and your hair touching the air above your head. Or maybe you're wearing a hat. Just notice that. Maybe there's warmth there. Or maybe coolness from the air on your scalp. Just notice whatever sensation is present in the moment. And notice now, at least a foot above your head, the air, maybe all the way up to the ceiling in whatever room you're in. Just notice that there is space above your head and be present with that and be present with the space above that space. I'm noticing that there's noises above my head from the air conditioning, or the heat, I think, or and banging from my neighbors. And I'll just be present with that. And there's cars outside. And that's all above my head because I'm in a basement. So just notice. whatever is in your awareness above your head. And just be present allowing any other thoughts or sensations to come and go as you bring your awareness even higher into the sky and beyond your house or apartment or wherever you are into the streets and beyond our borders so now you can open your eyes and just bring your awareness to anything and everything that comes into your mind. We'll go back to what my teacher calls open awareness, just being open to whatever comes into your awareness. So if you're looking at me, then notice me. If you're checking out the background, notice the background. If you're looking around your room, notice your room. Just notice anything that you're taking in visually, sensually, anything. Just be present in the moment. <sighs> I'm notice noticing that I'm much more calm now that I'm not live because my I turned off the live feed and because um, my YouTube Canon camera 
turned off part way, so that's okay. I accepted that. <laughs> So if you want to see the full um, live one, you can go to my Instagram at MC Shadows, or um, you can just watch this one. <laughs> so notice any differences that you may feel from the start of the meditation to the end of the meditation. Maybe you feel the same. Just notice. Be present again. I'd like to remind you before you go that I'm not a meditation teacher. I'm a student who's been practicing for the last nine years and would like to explore the idea you can meditate anywhere, anytime, on anything. So just remember that. So nine years of experience, but I'm not a teacher. You have to be a, like, you have to do a lot more intensive meditation work to be a teacher. That's like three year long retreats and months long retreats, which I, I have never done. So, and thank you for sharing your time with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. I hope you had an awesome meditation and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.